Hi there, welcome to 9 to 42. I'm Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is on Tokyo Hotel by Road Trip and Harvey. Sounds like this. Okay, so we're going to learn the whole song. Uh, one of my students was uh, going to do it for a GCSE performance, so I thought I'd teach you guys it as well. Okay, so first thing we need to do is put a capo on the second fret. And it starts off with an intro. It starts off with an E chord, which is your first finger on G, G1, second finger on A2, and third finger on D2. Uh, and it's a bit muted off, so it's, you do a bit of palm muting. So you rest this bit of your hand on the very beginning part of the string. If you want to, you can just play it normally. However you like to play it, it's fine. And you're gonna go down, up, up is the rhythm. And then you could do another hit on that with a downstroke. And then you can play fret four on the E string. Okay, so you got. Okay, and that's the first bar. Then it's gonna to go to an A5, which is just a D2 and G2. And you're playing the A string, D string, and the G string. And you're gonna do the same kind of idea with the rhythm. Down, up, up. And then you're gonna do another uh, down on that. So you've got down, up, up, down. And then we're gonna to go to a B5, which is just your first finger on A2, third finger on D4, little finger on G4. So that's a B5, that just hits uh, at the end of the bar. So bar two sounds like this. Okay, so if we put bars one and two together, they sound like this. Okay, and then it goes up to a C sharp five, which is the same as a B5, but you just move it up two frets. So your first finger's on A4, third finger's on D6, and your little finger's on G6. And you're just gonna hit those strings and go down, up, up, down, up. So down, up, up, down, up, all on that same chord for bar three. And then you're gonna go down to B5 and do the same thing. So the whole of the intro sounds like this. Okay, that takes us to the verse. Now, the verse is the first two bars of that intro repeated. Um, well, it's, it's doing that twice and then it does the whole line of the intro. Hopefully that makes sense. So the first two bars, which go E, And it just repeats that bit again, like another three times, or another two times, so three times in total. Hopefully that makes sense. So uh, the verse does that, and then it does the bit going up to the C sharp five. Okay, so let's play the whole of the verse then. One, two, three, and. Okay, so that's the verse. Now the bridge of the song sounds like this. Okay, so some arpeggios. An arpeggio is just a chord but playing the individual notes rather than playing it all at the same time. So we're going to start with an A chord, which is just uh, D2, G2, and B2. And you're gonna play the A string, then the D string, then the B string, and then the G string. And it, the rhythm goes. Okay, and then you're gonna to go to an E chord and play the E string, the A string, the B string, and then the G string. So you get this. So the first bar of the bridge sounds like this. And it's going to go up to a B chord. I'm using my third finger flat across the D, G, and the B strings on the fourth fret, and my first finger on A2. And you do a similar um, pattern to what we did on the A chord. So A string, D string, B string, and then G. Okay, and then you're going to go up to a C sharp minor, which is just your first finger on A4, 
second finger on B5, third finger on D6, little finger just underneath it on G6, and do the same picking pattern. Okay, so we've got A, so from the beginning of the line, A, E, B, up to C sharp minor, then does A again, then E, then B5, you're gonna go coffee, coffee, tea, and on that last one, make it staccato, so five hits, and cut the last one short by putting your hand on the strings. So let's try the whole of the bridge. One, two, three, and. Okay, one last bit to play, and that's the chorus. So it does starts an E chord, then plays the note E4, then to an A sus2 chord. Which an A sus two is the same as E minor, but down one string. So it's just A two, oh sorry, D two and G two playing from the A string downwards. Let's go to a B five and then C sharp minor for a bar. Back to a B for a bar. So the chorus sounds like this. And then you can add a bit of rhythm into that, make it sound like this. Okay, so for that I'm just kind of going down, down, up, 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 down, and then changing that last down onto the note. Down, down, up, 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 down. Same with the next two chords. Down, down, up, 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 down. Down, up, 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 down. Down, down, up, 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 down. And with that, you should be able to play the whole song. Uh, well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little lesson of mine. If you have, if you could subscribe to my channel, it's 9 to 42, I'd really appreciate that. Um, and could you leave me some comments in the comment section? Just write anything in there, but just give me some comments. Uh, and could you like this video? And if you've got any requests for songs that you'd like to learn, uh, put them in the comment section as well. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you next time.